yeah hey guys welcome back to my channel today's vlog will be a glow up diary slash media reset i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking like mid-year was technically june but listen it's never too late to do a media reset and for me i don't know about you guys but i associate back to school like fall time to be like a proper reset because think about it like when i was younger i was getting all my like doctor's appointments done my vaccinations like everything was being done right before school started so i feel like i associate august as being the proper time to do an actual reset so even though i'm older i feel like i still carry that into my adulthood to where i don't do like my proper reset until august so this vlog will have all things reset so i'm doing a physical reset admin reset I'm also doing declutter as well too but today is going to be like a spa reset day so today's going to be like my physical reset day so i'm doing all things like beauty so shaving exfoliating doing like facials also taking care of like my eyebrows and other beauty stuff because I'm kind of crazy i'm gonna be doing like admin stuff so that'll be a social media audit i'm scheduling all my appointments like my doctor's appointment renewing my tag things like that and then also just decluttering like my closet getting rid of clothes that no longer serve me so all that will be in today's vlog today is monday and it's currently like a hurricane going on or something but i did get a pedicure today i went right after work and i didn't get a manicure because I'm waiting to get my nails done. I do my own nails. I just do like press on nails. But I'm waiting to do my nails for my birthday trip that's coming up in about two weeks, which is crazy. I'm really excited to go on that trip. And I feel like it's somewhere that no one would ever like expect me to go or most people wouldn't expect to go because it's just so random. It's gonna be so much fun. But yeah, it is Monday night. I am going to hop in the shower and do some of my beauty rituals and whatnot. And I will show you guys the products that I use when it comes to shaving and all that. And then I'm gonna do like some fun skincare reset routines as well. Let's start the Glow Up Diaries now. Just got out of the shower and I'm gonna show you guys what I use for moisturizing. I use the Palmer Coconut Oil to moisturize my body. And then I also use this on top of using the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. And then I also use a lymphatic drainage tool. So like, you can look at the details as far as like lymphatic drainage. I'll probably put it right here as well too. But it has some really good like health benefits. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the oil on. I'll have to put it on when my skin is still kind of pretty damp. And then I'm going to use this tool on top of this as well to to like massage everything together but uh, i definitely recommend these i got this from like a dollar store i think it's really cheap and then i like to use these too also forgot to mention that i like to use ordinary's glycolic acid toning solution for under my arms right after i shave i just take a cotton pad and put some toner on it this is right before i put on any deodorant as well too it just helps get rid of all the bacteria underneath your arms it helps with like preventing ingrown hairs but also like dark underarms as well too yeah i've been doing it for like about a year now and i feel like i definitely see a different the deodorant i use is dove's advanced dry spray all right now let's do skincare Next, I'm going to use a steamer. I got this one from Amazon maybe like two years ago, but it works really, really well. I'll tag it. I think it's already in my Amazon storefront, but you just put water in here and then you just plug it in. I like to do this to open up my pores and then work on extracting my blackheads, but we're gonna let that heat up. Okay, so my face has been steaming for a few minutes now, but I'm gonna show you guys what I use for extractions. I got this from Amazon, it's just blackhead extractor. time for skincare. I use a CeraVe foaming facial cleanser from to oily skin. If you guys can already tell, I have very, very oily skin. So this one is really great for like oil control. So I'm going to wash my face with this. And then tonight we're doing a face max. I'm using Korean skincare. So I'm using this Seoul Cuticles. I hope I pronounced that right. Obviously I'm using a turmeric anti-aging max.
20 minutes or so. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this face mask off. And then I wanna put on these under eye patches that I'm gonna show you guys. I got them from Ulta. They're actually reusable eye masks. So you just wash them after you finish. But how cute is this design? So cute. Yeah, let's get this face mask off. Guys, the way my skin is literally glowing right now. What? <laughs> My skin feels so good. Like my entire body feels amazing right now. But this is the end of my beauty glow up for this week. Tomorrow I'm gonna really focus on some admin stuff. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. morning guys it is the next day this morning so far i did my workout and also went to trader joe's to pick up some of like my monthly reset some items so i got myself some flowers you can look this from my shower just got back home i'm drinking my protein shake i have a very productive day ahead of me today's gonna be like my admin reset day and then also i want to try to do my social media like cleanse and honestly i am kind of dreading it because it takes me so long but i know that once i'm done and i'm following people and like refreshing my feed and whatnot i always feel so much better after the fact so once i get it done it's gonna be out of the way and i'm not gonna regret it in the future also i didn't know that trader joe started giving out like these newspapers i don't know if maybe i'm just late to the game but this is my first time actually getting one pretty much it just gives you like i guess different recipes to use as far as like you know just trader joe's <laughs> recipes but yeah i'm gonna like sit through read this out of curiosity finish my protein shake and then shower and get prepared for a very productive day today all my appointments but you guys like i just found out that my like childhood doctor stopped taking my current insurance because because i know like once you turn 26 they kick you off your mama insurance so last year i got kicked off so i didn't get my own insurance which i'm grateful for that my job supplies that whatever so this year i had to transition from having my mom's insurance to like my own personal insurance which is like huh I'm, like i'm just a girl like what i called them to get an appointment they're like oh, we don't accept my new insurance so i had to find a whole new doctor this adulting is too much like i have to find my own doctor my own dentist that's too much anyway so i'm just my appointments now i want to work on doing the social media audit which i don't think it's a lot that i have to do honestly because majority of what i'm cleaning up is through instagram and i found this tiktok talking about like how you can clean up your instagram quickly without having to download those like really sketchy like follow apps or whatever so i'm gonna do that and then i also want to review my 2024 goals that i made in december of last year just to kind of see like where i'm at and what i want to do as far as what goals that i put on my list that i feel like i'm not really aligned to anymore or what goals that i want to add to my list before the year ends so i think it'll be fun to kind of just review that since it is my mid-year reset and kind of see how i want to move forward as far as my yearly goals and also i think it'll be a good thing to kind of reflect and see like what i've accomplished so far throughout this year as well too so it'll be interesting to see like what goals that i feel like i've accomplished that i forgot about but uh yeah let's go ahead and start on my social media audit okay 
so I'm reviewing my goals and I can already tell from the first couple of them that some of my goals that I wrote down I take a detour on for personal reasons um, some of them have to do with career stuff that I'm gonna fully get into but yeah I see a lot of career goals have changed let's see so one of my goals was to be consistent on social media and I have been and the personal development I wanted to grow my confidence I'll show you guys really quick huh? so here's my list I'm not gonna show you guys everything but I'm gonna look at my personal development one and one of my goals was to grow my confidence in my cooking which I have I've been cooking for my family every other week or so so I definitely feel like I have grown a lot more confidence in my cooking skills and I think one of the lists I put was to try new recipes every single month which I have been doing so checking that one off be consistent with solo dating I have been going on my solo dates at least once a week so checking that off take a solo trip did that in May I went to Puerto Rico I'll link the video if you guys haven't seen that invest more into hobbies this one is like a yes but not the hobbies that i thought i was gonna invest more into i wanted to invest into salsa like by booking like a I mean like a package program which i still plan to do but i definitely have invested into my hobbies like i've been doing like more creative projects when it comes to scrapbooking just like picking up new hobbies like running and doing more physical hobbies i definitely feel like i invested more into it but I want to do more vesting, so I'm gonna check off that one until I feel like I've fully invested into a hobby. The next one was to become a plant mom, check that off. Next one is to pay off credit debt, which I'm still working on, fingers crossed. Invest into wardrobe, I have done that, but you guys will see in this video, I'm going to get rid of some more clothes that don't serve me. So I'm going to leave this checked off. Consistently exercise and move your body five times a week. I have been doing eat more nutritious meals. I feel like I have been doing that as well too. Read at least one book a month. I have been doing that. I have been on track. Yeah, I haven't checked out this list in a minute. And I don't know, I feel pretty good about it. I feel like I'm on track. Like I said, the biggest things that I've changed have been pretty much things that have been out of my control as far as like my career goes. For me, like some of the goals that I've written down made sense at the time last year to go after those goals. But after doing some deep thinking about it, I feel like those goals didn't really make sense. This is your sign to like, if something isn't working for you and you don't feel like a deep calling in your spirit to like go after that thing anymore, it's okay, just let it go. Like don't beat yourself up about like having to see it through. Like if you feel deep down inside, you no longer align to it and you no longer feel called to that and you feel called to something else give yourself permission to follow through with that because if you're not passionate about something you don't feel called to anything there's no point in like forcing yourself to go through with it yeah i think that is a wrap on my admin day i feel so much more like refreshed but yeah that was a wrap on admin day and i'll see you guys tomorrow for my declutter reset so i'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys it is currently the next day today we are doing a declutter so i'm getting rid of all the clothes that no longer serve me i cleaned my place like over the weekend so it's clean like i said i just have to organize let's go over to my closet welcome to my closet at that point in my life where i'm just hating every single thing that i'm wearing i'm in a weird space so where like some of my clothes don't fit me anymore or they no longer serve me or they just don't really feel like me so it's time for a declutter it's time for a change of space it's time to let go and welcome in the new i did go shopping i might do a haul maybe on tiktok or so there's definitely some clothes that i need to get rid of that i feel like i haven't worn in years they're just collecting dust in my closet all right so first let's start with shoes these are so these heels are so busted i'm actually embarrassed to kind of show these look how busted these heels are like it's time to let them go so gone these were given to me by i think my cousin or somebody but they're not really my style i don't really care for them anymore so donate what else a majority of the clothes that I feel like I have, I've already done a pretty good job of getting rid of like during my spring cleaning. But there's still some clothes in here that I feel like I've been holding on to for just a little bit too long. For example, this. Like, first of all, why is this hanged up? That's the bigger question. Like, why do I feel the need to hang this up? But it's like a onesie, it's a cow. I think me and my cousin were like bought these in college just for like funsies or for like Halloween or something. But I haven't worn this onesie. Look at the tail. A partner wants to keep it, but I'm just like, I haven't worn it in forever, but I just think it's like really cute and funny. So I don't know. I'm gonna put this on the maybe side for now. I don't ever wear this top here. I actually also want to do a closet organization video maybe because my closet honestly looks a hot mess. My bags are just thrown up there. Then I have like some shoes over here. And then I have these like storage for my gym clothes and whatnot. But it's not organized whatsoever. Different time, different video. 
Um, this top, I feel like it's pretty see-through, so that's why I never really wear it that often. But also, it's just feel like it's not really that much of my style anymore. So, donate. i also been wanting to just revamp my entire style. Like, I want to do a color analysis to figure out what colors look best on me. I just feel like when it comes to the style department, I just need so much help because, I don't know, I'm just not naturally, I guess, good at styling things. Like, I don't really think about this. People who have a natural talent for, like, fashion. I'm not one of those people, and I am not ashamed to say that. But I just do want to feel more mature, more elevated in my look. A lot of my clothes don't really give grown and mature. Like, I'm about to be 27 in like two weeks. Like, girl, like, we gotta get together. Let's see what else. This top I actually thrifted not too long ago, maybe a year ago. But I don't really, I'm not a really big fan of it. I don't know why I got it. I think I was just bored, honestly. I think I wore it in one of my videos too. Like, I wore it in, I think, the Healthy Habits video. I'm debating if I should keep it, but also, I'm like, this will be a maybe. These pants are really cute for the summer, but they always give me a headache putting on because they're just very hard to put on. Like, I am naturally, like, like I, I can't even explain it, but these jeans, I have a hard time putting these jeans on. It's easy going around my waist, but around my bottoms, like, it's really difficult and it's stressful. And I don't want anything in my life stressing me out, not even clothes, so donate. These are skinny jeans that I have not worn in years from PacSun. I don't know why I hung these up either, but these are just, like, flare pants, but I don't know. Pants fit me so weird because I'm, like, I'm more on the taller end, so, like, it's really hard for me to find pants that actually look good on me and these just have a weird space where the crotch just looks very weird and big and like heavy I can't explain it. up here tall girl like you know what I'm talking about yeah these just don't really do for me anymore just donate I have these joggers that I wear frequently but I feel like again I don't know if my body is changing or what but a lot of the pants just aren't fitting me the way that they used to or at least they're shrinking and they're not fitting right so these are one of those pants that I feel like look weird on me now so I think I'm going to go ahead and donate these. It's actually atrocious how the way I've been hanging up some of these clothes. Like, do not judge me, but the way I just be throwing anything on the hanger, I can't even take this out because it's just hanged up so weird. I don't know where this thing is. Okay, this dress, this was my graduation dress from college. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to get rid of it. And this fits me pretty well, but I feel like it's just not my style anymore. I feel like it's kind of like childish, but oh, I don't want to let it go. We're going to keep this one. We're going to keep this one. Okay. This was also thrifted. Just like a regular velvet black dress. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't know if I like it anymore, but we're going to keep because you never know when you need a all black dress. What I'm learning about not only just color analysis, but just like learning how to find things that best fit my body type. For example, these type of these type of collars don't fit my body type. These are like V-necks aren't really flattering for me. What's flattering for me is like those square neck shaped clothing. Turtlenecks look really good on me too. Things like this that has like the open collarbone don't look really good on me. So donate. I don't know why I purchase things with this shape because obviously, like I said, like they don't look good on me. But I think when you're someone who doesn't have experience with winter, you don't know what to get as far as winter style. So I think that's what happened here. That's when I'm leaving it on. Donate. Not me still holding on to my dance company jacket like yeah like why do i still have this but honestly like, it's like a memento these are the days like i have all my medals on here still but i want a competition did i peak in high school keep it we're keeping this it's a memento maybe i could put this in like, my memory box or something i don't know but <sighs> okay the last thing on my list is just to wear my plants this isn't really a declare thing, I just do this weekly, but since I'm already coming today, I might as well show you guys things that I use. So if you're someone like me, I don't actually have a green thumb. That's not going to stop me from becoming a plant mom. I literally got my plant mom dreams. It's called Planta. It pretty much tracks like all your plant health and tells you like when to water it. It tells you about certain symptoms as far as like the health of your plant and whatnot. It's just very, very helpful to keep you on track of taking care of your plants. Self-watering pots that I got from Amazon. You pretty much just put the water in here and there's like these two strings at the bottom that the plant drinks out of so that way the plant is drinking on its terms so it pretty much prevents like overwatering and like, doing too much for your plant i recommend and this plant has been thriving like it was like this small when i first got it and now it's already like getting like new leaves which is nice it's my aloe plant and then this plant as well too it's the same thing but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and water this plant that is the end of my media reset and my glow up diaries i hope you guys really enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys for another video next week bye